Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Croak, and today we are going to be going over everything in the latest winter DLC for 2022. So, getting into the video, this is the biggest update we're going to see this year. So, there's a lot riding on this update. So we'll see really what happens. So going along with that, December in the previous years has brought us the contract update, the casino heist and the Cacao Perico updates. So before we get into everything, please subscribe, like the video and comment down below what you th are thinking the new Christmas update will bring to the table this year. So we're gonna be heading over to Tez Fun 2 which is a rock star insider and they have been giving us a lot of knowledge into really behind the scenes of what Rockstar is really planning. So what it reads here, I'm gonna pop it on to the screen. Since the release of executives and other criminals, any new interior introduced as labeled as a simple interior. Since then, all the new properties we received throughout the years were labeled the same. The recipe for new DLCs tend to always include a new simpler interior. It's pretty much expected we, must, we would receive a new one within this upcoming summer update. Since Los Santos summer special arrival, the free mode creator as an internal tool came into the scene and became a standard tool for the designers as utilized for pretty much anything free mode related. Even the HSW time trial on PS5 and Xbox series was made via the free mode creator. Some apply, same applies to the new tutorial that came with the career builder. We should expect the same with the upcoming updates, but what will those new free modes event revolve around is unknown. If we are to expect the next DLC to introduce us to Michael, we could potentially own a property at Richard Majestic Studio and maybe have Rosilia star in a movie or something. Just like we saw the exchanges occur to Franklin's house, maybe we could see the same apply to Michael's house. So going along with that, there's been a lot of rumors that Michael is going to finally finally get into gta 5 online but it's going to be movie themed i'm hoping we do get the new cops and robbers added to the game that has been rumored for so long i know you guys really want to see it we all really want to see it but it's really up to rockstar to really get us what we need in this up update so what i would like to really see in this new christmas dlc is finished construction sites mile high club red wood light tracks houses keep the construction tunnels how they are but they could add a vault door to blow up and access that way better clothes actual mansions and just the basic apartments more new cars is quality of life improvements more is mutual claim all vehicles are just a few things i would really like to see essentially i would really like to see more of a storyline out of the game with michael not just a single day but more out of the game and more missions along with that but what do you guys really want to see comment down below i also added a little bit into how everything is created as you'd see on the screen the top it has the instagram youtube all the handles on top tell me if you like that or i should take it out and also the rainbow border along with that so i'm really riding a lot on rockstar getting this dlc out and having it be especially fun especially for the holidays it's the biggest dlc of the year for part two of our video for today we also have another tez fun 2 little post here in addition to the movie references from vespucci job remix at roll shaku 2282 found out rockstar at a new scenario spawn point on gta 5 ps5 and xbox series x and s in front of the of record a studios with movie set as the assigned ped model set a hint at a movie DLC with Michael. So this is starting to look like it's actually going to happen along with the snow. What I really like is the hominess of GTA during the holidays, guys. I really love how it all comes together and looks. I used to have a good friend that I'm no longer friends with. He even stood up at his wedding. We had a little argument, but we always used to come together and play GTA 5 when you know it was christmas time and we'd always have fun time reminiscing on the old memories you know i really wish we were still friends gta is really about coming together if it's your family or friends 
playing, but it's also a time to get together with your family and actual friends in real life, not just in a video game. But this DLC is starting to look like it's going to be coming out around December 20th, and it's going to stay until the 30th or even later than that. It would be around January 5th or 6th. There's different time frames, and it all comes down to Rockstar. They do fluctuate during the year. But going on, there are some more things I want to do talk about. The test funds too. There's code in GTA Online with new beats and music you'll be able to create so that is something that is very interesting i don't know really how it's going to work to make your own beats because not everyone is music talented it'd be cool to do that maybe you could be a dj in your own nightclub but i don't know how that really corresponds with the game that'd be kind of complex it is something that would be cool to do and see maybe rockstar has their own twist on it maybe it could be a mission i have no idea but that is one of the things that also came up furthermore I do love to see new additions to the game, new cars. I want to see more customizable, more mansions, just more of a storyline to add on to this game. We've been playing for nine years, ever since it came out nine years ago. That's a long time to be playing a game. And I do like the free updates. I mean, we can't really complain, but again, we've been playing for so long. Will Rockstar deliver on the biggest update of the year? So we'll find out and see. Comment down below what you really want to see out of this update. Is it mansions? Is it more of a storyline on the GTA 5 online portion of it? You tell me. I really love hearing from the fans, from the subscribers. So this is all I have for today. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you guys soon.